All right, Ryan, so you got your DIY set up over there, which is crazy, really cool stuff. You made it, you did the impossible, making a perfect boat even more perfect. Yes. <laughs> but let's talk about what can normal people do, because I mean, that's a heck of a new stall. All right, you know what? Take it away. Yeah, so you're right. The autopilot build that I just showed off, that took hours to do, right? To do the clean wiring and to get that set up the way it was. It took a couple days and some critical thinking to get it to there, but there's a lot of aftermarket solutions that allow you to kind of get a boat set up and customized without having to put a lot of the time and energy drilling into your boat and trying to figure out. There's a lot of aftermarket things that plug into our boats. And so with the big water here, I wanted to show you what's possible with things that are already available. For those that maybe aren't comfortable or confident in DIYing a boat, this is just a quick way to show you how you can really customize and personalize your boat. So we all know the Big Water. It's an awesome boat. It used to be the Predator PDL. It's now the Big Water PDL with some really nice upgrades. It's been around since 2016. I think it's when we, we launched that boat originally. The boat's designed for Big Water. So if you're out on the ocean, fishing inshore, offshore, big lakes, big rivers, currents, the, the shape of the boat allows it to cut through. So we all know this. I'm telling all of you who already know, this boat's awesome. And so I set this up kind of how I like to fish it without having to do a ton of work to it. So I changed out the pedals from our, our standard pedals that are padded. You're not gonna get fired for that? No, this is a, <laughs> this is a, something that we see some people do that like to fish with, with uh, water shoes or boots. These are a bit more aggressive. They're bike pedals, just a standard bike pedal. So you can customize the pedal drive pretty simply by just changing out the pedals. And that's, you know, a set of $40 pedals and it took all of five minutes to swap out those pedals. So that's a, a quick way to kind of customize your boat in a, in a fun way, it gives it a little bit of flash. I've got the Helix 9 on here. I'm running the battery up front here and just run the transducer off the standard transducer mount that's underneath this boat. So real easy install here using a ram mount off of this mounting plate up front. Moving out back here, you'll notice that you know a lot of a lot of people are liking to do this horizontal rod storage thing. So I sourced a few horizontal rod storage mariner sails in Texas. They 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 make these um, horizontal rod storage pieces that plug right into your accessory tracks. I've got one out back and one in front. Has a bungee to keep your rods secure. I've got my paddle on here. I got a couple rods on here. It's just a clean way to run your, your rods horizontally beside you. So again, you don't have to have this every time. You can choose to leave this at home and then quickly add it if you want. So I'm not always fishing with these, but I really do like this upgrade. It allows you to carry more rods in a cleaner way. Or if you're fishing the mangroves or somewhere where there's a lot of overhead stuff and you, you don't want those rods up in the air, you're able to store them beside you and just have them ready to roll. So that's a really nice upgrade. Coming back here, again, I'm just showing you the stern tank wall and how it can accept that large Yak Attack uh, crate. I actually mounted the Yak Attack rod holders that come with the crate off the back so I can still open that. And then I added some of these Yak Attack uh, rod tubes off the back so I, I can still take four rods behind me while also having the horizontal rod storage beside me. I've got that Yak Busy Pole. I love this thing, especially if I'm fishing in busy waters. I'll run this all the time. It's If you don't have one of these, I've had a lot of close calls. I know Alex has, anybody that spends a lot of time on the water with big boats, it's imperative to have something visible that that alerts boats around you, especially if you're in waters that there's a lot of partiers or wake boats or oh, it's people getting that dark. are, yeah, getting dark. It's important to have one of these. And this is like, I don't know, 40 bucks and uh, it can save your life. So I, I think it's closer to 90, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is worth way more It's money. worth it, yeah. <laughs> So moving back here, um, I went ahead and sourced the Yak Gadget uh, manual shallow water anchor. And guess what guys, use coupon code Alias Fishing to save you 10%. Yeah, exactly. So I just, uh, you know, source this, I, you know, if you don't have the money to spend on a, an electronic power pull, there are aftermarket solutions that are manual. So how I rigged this, literally bought this kit, it comes with the rope, comes with the pole, comes with the plate. I just used the pre-existing shallow water anchor location, mounted everything here, and then how I cleanly installed this is I added pad eyes. If you come right around here, Alex, I added pad, pad eyes to route that cable all the way up here. 
and I've got a rope grabber up here so I can deploy the shallow water anchor right beside my seat. So again, all of this is super easy to do, doesn't require a lot of time. You can kind of just pick and choose things that fit your style of fishing and you can really customize a boat without having to drill or bring it to a shop to have them set it up. Um, and it doesn't take a lot of time. So that's the big water rigged out, kind of a dream boat style with aftermarket things that you at home can do without a ton of effort or money. So if you want to learn more about the big water, the sportsman line, Alex again has a ton of videos of this boat. Go back to his catalog of videos if you want to learn more about this or any of our other sportsman models. Or you can visit us at oldtownwatercraft.com. Boom. Mm -hmm. uh, tell them to subscribe. And so, uh, smash that subscribe button, like this video, leave some comments. If you've got some ideas on how to customize this in a different way, I'd love to hear from you all that follow Alex how you would set this up or how you'd do this differently. And uh, we appreciate everybody out there. Love you, Alex. Thanks for swinging by.